What we found in the past when we released some of our sharks that have been satellite tagged, we also tagged wild sharks with satellite tags. And when we compared that data, we saw that our sharks and the wild sharks had the same patterns. And that's why we release where we do, so that they can fall back into their natural migration patterns. We will be closing this exhibit in mid-June when we open our ocean exhibit, which is a new exhibit, brand new, 1.7 million litres of water, beautiful exhibit that we have been constructing between us and the one and only. There used to be a parking lot, there is now a beautiful exhibit. And um, the Predator exhibit, as it currently stands, will close down for renovation. Once it opens up again, it will open up with sharks again. The process starts with the divers going into the exhibit. We lower a holding tank into the Iron Jay Predator exhibit, and then while the divers are in the exhibit, they guide the shark into a see-through PVC cone. Our guys that work with the animals, they are really, really careful, and they are really quite adapted at doing this. They've been doing it for quite a while. They use blunt broomsticks. There's nothing funny about those sticks. They're not, we call them shotgun sticks just because when you dive as an extra diver, you're the shotgun diver. But it's just a plain, simple broomstick. The shark has a very uh, sensitive nose area, and the diver that is in charge of guiding the shark into the cone actually does just that, guide the shark with the sticks to swim towards the cone, and then they kind of maneuver them into the cone and sometimes they get a bit of help from the other divers, sometimes it goes very easily and the, the shark just swims in. Once the shark is in that cone, the cone gets closed and the shark is moved into the holding tank. From there, she's moved into a holding tank of, on the back of our, our big truck, our flat big truck. That tank is 6,000 litres of water and it also has life support systems that keep the water quality uh, at an optimum. That said, our guys will be driving around the coast, so they will be doing water changes on the way. In East London, it's a manual release. So we manually put them into the uh, stretchers, manually lift them out of the, that tank, and then carry them into the sea and release them offshore.